sync. All right, so what we've got here is we're playing a game of Eternity's Map, which is kind of like Plane Chase 3.0. Because okay. Plane Chase 1.0 was everybody has to build their own planer deck. Mm. Plane Chase 2.0 was Everyone everybody has that. one deck. Yeah. yeah, and so now this is kind of like the third iteration from Wizards because they did have a, a, an article on it on their website. But okay. the way it works is, and you'll see this here on your screen now, there's actually a map, and all the planes are face down. We are currently in the middle of the map at Earth of Dominia, which is kind of like the old uh, version of what uh, you know the multiverse used to be called. You can basically call it Earth... Uh, yeah. of the multiverse. And so it doesn't do anything. If we would planeswalk to Earth, instead we planeswalk again. Okay. So we, if we would try to go back to Earth, it would force us somewhere else. Fair enough. Um, and chaos doesn't do anything. But as we go through the map, we'll always be able to see what plane is above us, below us, to the left, and to the right. And so if we do planeswalk, we can choose which one of those four to go. If we find a phenomenon, we go to that phenomenon and then get a plane at random. Okay. And that becomes that slot. Fair enough. Seem, seems interesting. I, I wonder, did you get inspired by Fallout 1 or 2? The, no, the so this was, this was, this was uh, <laughs> built by uh, Wizards. Maybe that's, they were. Oh, no, that's right. This is an actual thing. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's right. There is one extra uh, rule. Um, you can, if you had Planeswalk and you don't want to go to any of the four that are revealed, available to you, okay. you can go diagonally to one of the hidden planes. Um, ah, the problem is you just don't know where you're that's going, right. but you can force yourself away from something else. And you can only do that if the diagonal one is hidden. So okay. let's say we were to move around and then the diagonal one is not hidden, you can't jump to the diagonal ah, one like that. Okay. So let me just go ahead and give this a quick shuffle here. So while we start on Earth, we're not seeing the ones that are adjacent to us just yet. Well, once we start the game, we will. Oh, okay. okay. So right now, we're, everything's going to be hidden until after we decide to keep our hands. So okay. that way, the planes don't affect our mulligan that's decisions. Right, that's right. Yeah, They're it's a little out. bit of an extra rule that they added there. And I think it makes sense. I think it keeps it, everything a little bit simpler. Yeah, sure. I, that's what I should do. <laughs> I, while I'm trying to like stay competitive, I try to stay in the habit of shuffling people's decks. This is a casual game with zero stakes on the line. <laughs> I, I, I feel like if, if someone wants to cheat at the commander, they need they need to win more than I do. Mm. So that's that's the way I consider it. <laughs> that's fair. Oh, oh. Ooh. All right. Ooh. So taking a look at this hand. Mm. Um. Well, that's not as good. Here. Yeah. Um, now let's well, go ahead and we're gonna mulligan this to seven. Oh, and by the way, what's our uh, just want to play poker again? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. What you oh. Got? Two four four six one. Yeah, just, just two fours high six. That's that's pretty bad. Well, let's see what I get here. All right. Uh, two sixes. Yeah. So. Oh, and two threes. I'm yeah. just gonna. I'm just. <laughs> Take my ball and go. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, <laughs> I am gonna play first here. <laughs> Switching the dice around That's from from the awkward one with the the weird pit two? orientation, the weird two and the oh. weird, the the six. You see, it's like right up against each other. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. You well, can keep... here's the thing. So since we don't have a planar die, ah. um, we're gonna have to use a d6. The one is gonna be the planeswalk symbol, and yeah. the six is gonna be chaos. All okay. the other ones are gonna be blank. Fair enough. That's, that's just how that works. Um, and you have you played uh, playing Chase in a oh, while? Yes. Where you know the okay, okay. Yeah. So you, you know all the extra mana. I'm just she made talking it, yeah. about the extra rule. No, no. You don't. If you want to explain it, is what. So it's for every time that you want to try to use the planeswalk or you want to roll again, mm -hmm. it's one for each time after. So it's it one extra one, mana. And it costs two the next time. Well, the first time two it's free. extra time. Yeah. So the first one's free, but it costs one for each time you've done it before this yeah. turn. So one. I, you, you yeah. Got it, you exactly. Got Zero, got one, two, etc. Oh okay, yeah, I'm keeping it at the at the original mall. Uh, this is a very slow hand. Um, let's see, that's five. You know what? I guess doing my best to block the glare. YouTube, <laughs> I'm doing my best. Uh, hmm. No, I'm gonna mulligan down to six here. Just not getting oh, the no. Oh, no. not not getting the good hands this time. Well, that's fine. Well, the good news is I don't have a fast and furious hand. Turn one bird or something. <laughs> turn one bird. Turn that's, two animal. That should have given me. That should have given me the the idea that something something was afoot. Maybe. I didn't have a, a bolt for the bird though. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, this is EDH. I don't blame you. <laughs> I hear lightning bolt not exactly the best card in, in a format. You know, it's where... kind of it's kind of controversial. There's a lot of people who say it's absolutely not, but there is like a small group of people who say that it is very good. But there's like there's no like in between. There's no people like, eh, it's okay. 
As you long know? as you're playing one on one, maybe. But if you're using one of your cards to deal with one of your opponent's cards, to me, that's a one over the number of opponents you have. Yeah, it's, it's not. It even... is good to have it, but I think it's also it's only three damage. You know, it's not going to get rid of nearly enough. No. You know. Uh, by the way, what do you think about uh, D Spark? That's one of the ones oh, from the new set that I oh. really enjoy. Like same argument for me. It's still using a card to deal. It's a one for one third, mm -hmm. but. If you're going to, if you're going to have spot removal that deals with that deals with a lot. Yeah, it deals with planeswalkers. Yeah, it even deals with some lands because it says That's right, it there's say still CMC. You know, like yeah. like a, a a what's the amulet that? Yeah, the one that flips primal yeah. amulet. Yeah, primal amulet. Okay, go. so this hand looks a little better, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Go Let's go ahead it. and scry. All right. Um, we're going to keep this on top, I suppose. Fair enough. And uh, let's go ahead and start it off. We're going to start off with the Grasslands and pass the turn. Okay. I like the sound of that. We're going to start off with um, Scalding Tarn Pass. Okay. Let's draw a card. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crack this Grasslands. Okay. And let me grab... So I need to grab a forest, maybe a forest swamp. Let's see what we've got here in this deck. I think I think I don't have any of the original uh, duels, but it's not a big deal, you know. Compare, comparing <laughs> Shocklands to original duels yeah, is fair uh, enough. close enough. Is, in a format with forty life, probably not going to make that much of a difference. Yeah. Let's just grab uh, Overgrown Tomb. All right. And I'm not sure if I want to shock it in. Just give me one second here. Let me shuffle the one hundred cards. It's funny because I haven't played Paper Commander in so long that it feels so weird physically <laughs> shuffling a hundred <laughs> cards again. And in those sleeves, those are what dragon shields. Uh, I think these are KMC sleeves. Oh, okay. Um, apparently, I thought I was buying the KMCs before they went to bad quality. Uh, but apparently, these are the ones that are after the bad quality, and they still haven't ripped on me. So fair enough. I feel like they're they're not too bad. I don't think they're as bad as people. I wouldn't claim have they noticed are. if you hadn't said that, to be honest. <laughs> and even now, I'm still not really. I mean, yeah, they're they they feel fine. I mean. So to what you were saying earlier, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you have 99 cards, but a dual land one. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll be here all week. Uh, yeah, let, me, let me think about this. So do I want to shock in this Overgrown Tomb? I'm going to say no, because uh, okay. I don't really have anything I can use the mana for. So I'm just going to play down the mountain and pass. Okay. Oh, actually, before I pass, yeah, yeah, I changed, changed my mind. Well, I'm going to go ahead and fetch. Planeswalk for free. Or oh. I'm going to try to Planeswalk for free. Chaos. Hey. Nothing happens. Oh, yeah, because it has this earth. Right. Let's go ahead. We're going to take a look here I'm at these four contact. planes that are around us, by the way. Okay. So even if it's not in my interest, even though even if it's not in my best interest, I am going to always roll it once each turn. So each I mean, if that's what I'm right thinking, now. too. That's what I, I mean, I might if I want to stay on the same plane, but yeah. I don't want to forget to do it because that's the whole reason we're doing the, the, the turning map. So yeah. the one above us... Uh, is Isle of Vesuva. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield, its controller puts a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of that creature. Yeah, so Vesuva. Uh, for, yeah. For oh. creatures. Exactly. Um, Turi then, Island is to our left. Creature spells cost two less to cast. So, your commander, in a way. <laughs> oh, no, it only costs two generic less. Well, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. It's it's doing what my commander's doing. Yeah, so it's probably a good place for you. Oh, jeez. Uh, Nar Isle here to the right. Beginning of your upkeep, put a flame counter on Nar Isle. Then Nar Isle deals damage to you equal to the number of flame counters on it. And then below, prevent okay. all combat damage will be dealt by non-werewolf <laughs> creatures. Well, I know where I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion we each kind of have our favorite place to go here. Well, let's go. Ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pay one oh, and no. uh, try our planeswalk this time. Nope. Yep. All right. Pass. Pass. All right. Oh, you're not on the field yet, bud. Took it out to get the card. All right. Get the cad. Hmm. Let's see what you got. Hmm. I'm going to get out. A Fauna Shaman. Okay. So this is, yep. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll give it a roll. All right. Come on. Chaos. Chaos on nothing. nothing. All right. Well, Earth. Faster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, I probably should change the uh, static effect to you have to roll at least once per turn. That'll okay. kind of force people to oh, try to move. Earth, yeah. Yeah. It'd be kind of cool. I dig it. All right. I dig so it. let's go ahead here. And uh, we're going to play down a swamp. I think it's time for the commander to come join right. the party. Literally, as you can see by her flavor text, she's yeah. a regular guest at the Royal Masquerade. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and try to roll here, see if I can move around. Nope. No. And then I'll pass to you. An insect wizard. 
Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. Hmm. Okay. Well, to no one's surprise, let me just actually show that card real quick. All right. Anime. <laughs> He's here. He's here to stay. In before get wrathed, I guess. Roll time. Nope. Okay. Nothing. And, um, you know what? She flies anyway. Mm hmm Swing two. I'll take two. Going cool. down to 38. Hey. Are you at uh, 39 right yes, now? Yes. Yeah. I've fetched. Oh, okay. okay. Pass turn. Gotcha. Winning. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, yes, okay? <laughs> I have one fewer wizard hat than you. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> now, I've got, I've got some amount of mana here. The question is, is it a good amount of mana? Let's it's not four for damnation, so I'm I'm okay. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go ahead and play Cinder Glade. Untapped. Now it's four. And then we will tap our mountain for a soul ring. Oh, yep. Yep. And that's that leaves me with five mana here. YouTube, YouTube. If your playgroup bans soul ring, this guy. <laughs> this guy. You're playing with duels! <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fair! That's fair! I'll go ahead and activate... Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it smart. Let's do it smart. <laughs> Just wait till end of turn. Yeah. I All can right. lock with it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to try to roll here to Kessig. That's where I would like to go. No. Oh, right. I'll pay one. Uh-oh. Nope. Ah, uh, no. Okay. And I'll let the one mana go and uh, pass to you. All right. All right. Time to maybe do stuff. I'm gonna do this now. Nope, okay. Hmm, do I wanna do it again? Mm, prob the world is your oyster. At this point. At this point. Oh, oh! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, this deck is stupid. I love it, this deck is so stupid though. Oh no. Let's see. Thinking. Oh man, okay. So, we're gonna play a forest. No matter what, that's definitely happening. Um, it's not a, a. You wouldn't consider an action that would be forced. Uh, would you? Uh, <laughs> that joke is a little forced. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay. You're I'm good, sorry. you're good. All right, well, whale. Whale. I'm kind of worried what's going to happen here. I'm going to evoke Mole Drifter. Okay. Trigger, trigger. Mm-hmm. Uh, right on time, buddy. Right on time. Um, so I have the option to either roll a die again or do use Fauna Shaman. And do I think what, do what your heart says, Jay. My heart says I want to keep you from taking me to Keswick for crying out loud. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because I have already rolled. So, hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, wait. No, we're gonna we're gonna spin it and roll. Okay. All right. Do what your heart says. Do what your heart says. <laughs> yes. You, you blaze walk. Okay. All right. So where you want to go? I would like to go to Turi Island. All right, so now above us, we can see that there's a Orochi colony. Okay. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may search your library for a basic land card. Ooh. Put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Oh, jeez. So you get a rampant growth every time you deal combat damage to the player. Yeah. Uh, Kiln, Spire, Kiln Spire District. When you planeswalk to Kiln Spire, Kiln Spire District, or at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, put a charge counter on it, uh, then add red to your mana pool for each charge counter on it. Okay. And then here below, we see horizon bows, all permanents untap during each player's untap step. Oh, okay. So now that we've moved here to the left, our map kind of shrinks so that it can grow in a different direction. Ah, okay. So we'll put these over here. Fair enough. And that goes here. Oh, this one goes here. Basically, we keep that same shape every time we go somewhere. Understood. And we can't go back to Earth. Right. Once we leave, once Earth gets out of the map, then uh, we're out of here. Uh, Although, I will say, if I were to planeswalk, I could planeswalk to Earth and then to Kessig. 
Oh, oh I see. That's that's yeah. how that works. Yeah, so I can planeswalk twice, basically. If I... uh, so we're still in the <laughs> danger zone. Yes, but yeah. you're close to getting out of it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so if you planeswalk to... If somehow I planeswalk to Orochi, uh -huh. you could planeswalk to Earth to Kessick. Because no, it's diagonal? It only, you can only go diagonal if it's oh, okay, hidden. Okay, okay, it's hidden. Okay. Once, it's, once it's revealed, you can't go there. All right. Pass and turn to me. Oh, I think I would like to get a little bit of damage in on you. Okay. So we're going to hit you for all of... Four. four to which is commander. I'll take four and take two commander. Yep. Okay, am I go? Uh, yep, draw a card. I'm gonna go ahead, draw a card at the end step here. That's not a bad one to draw. Good, very good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and draw a card here. Ooh, All this right. one's a good one. Um, I mean, it is a good one. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and start off by playing a land, and we've got seven mana. There's zero out here. There's your planes die. You know, you know, I think I think it's probably, probably better for yeah. us. Let's go ahead and try to, oh, no. to move. Okay. Nope. Nope. Nothing. All right. So, hmm. No, I think it's probably better to go do this. All right. So we're gonna go ahead, tap two black here. Mm -hmm. Seven mana for a shieldred, whispering one. At the beginning of each Your opponent's up upkeep, they have to sack a creature. That's, That's right. the part I care about. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, sorry, Fauna Shaman. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go ahead and pass the turn. All right. Well, upkeep. Bye-bye. Final Shaman goes to the graveyard where it deserves to be, That's Jay. indeed true. That's indeed true. <laughs> Shaman Lord. you. Ah, <laughs> you stop. <laughs> you are tatting me, Papa. <laughs> there, there are two things that people know I'm famous for on my channel. It's firstly puns and secondly punts. Yes. Uh, are, <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Thankfully, not as many punts as puns. So, let me think. I, I, I can do it just off of. I'm gonna play a land. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't really matter which land for what. Oh, I'm about sorry. To just do. one, one more thing. Tory Island does make your creatures now cost a total of three less. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Just want to make sure that you're keeping well, that. Well, for this, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because I'm about to do some stupid stuff anyway. That's not making me feel very again, comfortable. Again. Yes, again. All right. Spire Bluff Canal. Okay. All right. We're going to play a Peregrine Drake. Trigger on the stack. We're going to float a little bit of mana. We're going to float, uh, say, green red. Okay. Uh, it's going to trigger mm -hmm. and then untap these five. All right. Good times. Good times. So, um, how much mana do you have floating? Uh, currently three? Two. two. Just two mana floating. Just two mana floating. Because spin that two on an ancestral statue. You're gonna bring Pay it back. One. Yep. Yep. So you've got the infinite <laughs> mana. You've got the infinite mana. Now with Oh, that's that's, that's it already? That's it what? already. What? Alright, well, good yeah. game again. <laughs> Turn five. You know what? We're gonna play walk first. We're gonna play walk first. <laughs> no, you didn't. Uh, okay. <laughs> well you can play walk infinitely now. Now at this point we can just play walk to reveal the whole board. Yeah, you would be mana. You would literally be all over the board. <laughs> You would reveal the whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's Walking Ballista with a Googleplex. Yeah, nothing I can Googleplex do about it. Power. Yeah. Nothing I can do about it. I was hoping, you know, if you would attack with that NMR, block with a Zero Area and just reanimate it. Oh, pro Black. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's all good, too. Yeah, neither of these two, unfortunately. That's mm -hmm. why I said I only cared about one line on there. Mm -hmm. I needed to make sure you didn't get another turn. Although. Nothing I, in the graveyard, just the, up, a, like, yeah. I don't know, upkeep shenanigans? I don't know. Yeah. 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 Maybe, I, you know, if I had a way to put something in the graveyard, but I don't think we got anything in the hand. Wow. Crazy, yeah. dude. This, this deck is dumb. All <laughs> right. It's turn five. You want to play, you want to play one more game? Yes.